so I might have gone a little berserk. But to all the husbands out there who wouldn't go a little crazy if you came home from an extended business trip and just saw a harem of young, fit men awaiting you in your home, just the idea of any of them touching my company, or Penny, I meant Penny. So maybe killing all of them wasn't my best decision, but it happened and there's nothing we can do about it now. I did keep one of those men alive, uh, Phineas. He said he was a well-known journalist. He promised me that he would write a, a banging article about my badass adventure. So I figured he was worth keeping around. And not to mention the fact that Athena is an undercover agent. This offers a whole new realm of fantasies for me. But anyway, we got rid of some of the help too. But Penny has been giving me attitude about it for weeks now. I know Telemachus didn't make the best decisions on how to handle it, but he's a kid and there were only maids after all. I'm pretty sure they were orphans to begin with. Quite honestly, I don't know why Penny is reacting like this. And it's not like anyone actually would miss them. They are completely replaceable. I'm gonna need to find some new ones uh, soon, actually. I'm planning on attending a business conference in a few days or so, and I'd like to make sure everything is in order before I go. These next few months are actually quite busy now that I think about it. I need to meet with some clients in Greece, then I need to take a train to Italy to collect some antiques that Zeus called in about. I need to go make some phone calls. Penny, get Menelaus on the phone. <laughs>